Hi everyone, my name is Akuredi Adenike. You are welcome to my channel. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful underpost corset belt without side seam. Now let's get into it. These are the material needing for the tutorial today. I have my bias tape, my Ankara fabric, which is one of the African prints. I have about half yard here, matching lining, my plastic boning, and I'm going to need my interfacing. I'm going to draft my pattern first. This is my shoulder line and my center front because I'm drafting out the front part first. So from my shoulder line here, I'm going to measure out my bust point. Which is here now. From my shoulder to my under bust, I'm making a point there. And from my shoulder to my waist line, which is here. I'm going to make the ruling now. This is my boss point line. My under bust line. And my waist line. Remember, I'm drafting out the front part first. And from my center front on the shoulder line, I'm going to draft out, I'm going to measure out half of my shoulder line, which is here. From there, I'm coming down by one inch for my shoulder slope. And from this point, I'm going to come down by eight inches, which is the half of my round arm hole measurement to draw out my chest line. So what I have here, I'm going to repeat it here for me to draw out my chest line from the center front. To meet that point so i'm going to rule it out here is my armhole line now and this is my chest line so to make it equal i'm going to repeat what i have in between this point and this point which is nine inches so i'm going to make the ruling now for my chest line I don't really need this upper part just to serve as a guide for the beginners. So I'm making all the drafting at the down part of this pattern. Let me label my lines. This is my chest line, my bust point line, my under bust line, and my waist line. I'll just draw out my shoulder slope line. I don't really need it, like I said. From the center front here on my boss point line, I'm going to measure out half of my nipple to nipple measurement, which is 3.5 inches, because my nipple to nipple measurement is 7 inches. So I'm doing the same thing on the waistline. I'm going to connect it straight. Just like this. Like I said, I don't really need this upper part. I'm making my draft on the down part of the pattern. So I'm going to measure what is in between the boss point line and the under boss line, which is 3.5 inches. So that 3.5 inches, I'm going to measure it out from my nipple to nipple line, just like this. And from my center front, I'm going to measure half inch inward, which is here now. So from my boss point line, I'm going to come down by one inch. And on my waistline, I'm going to come in by half inch on both sides for me to draw out my dart. So from here to here and from here to here, I'm going to make a ruling slantly for my dart intake. Just like this. And I'm going to use my curve ruler. I'm using my curve ruler to rule this place out from here to here and here to here. Just like this. Now guys, on my bust point line, I'm going to measure out quarter of my bust 
which is 9.5 inches, which is here now from my center front. On my waistline as well, I'm measuring out quarter of my waist, which is 8.5, and I'm going to add one inch that I'm cutting out for my dart. I'm going to add it to it, which is 9.5 all together, and I'm connecting just like this. So, here is where I'm cutting out for my dart. I'm just trying to shade it out just because of the beginners. This is where I'm cutting out now. So, I'm cutting it out now. And I'm going to put it aside. Just like this. So, I'm dragging my paper. I'm going to extend these lines for my back pattern. After extending the lines, this is what I have. My chest line and my waist line for the back pattern. This is my side front and this is my center front on the front part. I'm putting it aside. Continue with the back pattern. I'm making a straight line here to serve as a guide for my back pattern. From there, I'm going to measure out my zipper allowance which is 1.5 I don't really need it but to serve as a guide for beginners in case you want to make a zipper on your own so I'm rolling it out just like this so from this line now which is my zipper allowance let me write it on it now from this line on my boss point line I'm going to measure out half of my nipple to nipple measurement I'm going to do the same thing on the waistline and I'm connecting it straight just like this so on my waistline I'm going to come in by half inch on both sides for my dart intake so I'm connecting from here to here and from here to here slantly So on my bust point line, I'm going to measure out quarter of my bust like I did on the front. And on my waistline too, I'm going to measure out quarter of my waist. I'm measuring from this line, not from the first line. Let me shade out my zipper allowance for you guys to understand. So I'm going to measure out quarter of my waist plus one inch that intake that I'm going to cut out from here that will make it 9.5 inches which is here so I'm going to connect it just like this so I'm going to cut out my back now after cutting out this is what I have for the back part and I'm going to label it before cutting up and down for me not to make silly mistake after cutting this is my center back and this is my side back I'll just cut it out like this and I'm going to complete the cutting of the front part Now this is my pattern now, my back pattern, my front part. Here is my center back and my, and my side back. This is my zipper allowance. This is my front part, side front and my center front. So I don't really need my zipper like I said, so I'm going to remove it. So for me to avoid side seam on both front and back i'm going to make the side two sides align and tape it together just like this so this is up this is down for me not to make any silly mistakes so I'll go ahead now and use my pattern to cut my fabric.
and this is the fabric I'm making use of, like I said. I'm done cutting my fabric out, as you can see, I added half inch all through here. And this line is my front and back side seam, as you can see. I'm going to put my pattern paper aside. This is my front part. I added half inch all through it as well. I'm putting my pattern paper aside. So I cut my front part on fold. My center front, I cut it on fold. This is the lining for it. I added it facing to fabric and the lining. This is my side, both front and back side, cut together. I cut two pieces of the fabric and two pieces of the lining and I added interfacing to both. So this is my center front now. I'm going to take one of the side, both front and back side cut together and stitch with half inch like this. I'm doing the same thing on the second side of it, stitch with half inch. I'm doing the same thing on the lining as well. I'm done stitching as you can see. I've joined it together, both front, I mean both lining and the fabric. I'm going to open the seam like this and iron it out. I'm doing the same thing on the lining. I'm done ironing it out as you can see. It's very neat and beautiful. I'm putting my lining aside, create the casing on the fabric. I mean my boning casing. I'm making straight lines to fish out where I'm going to add my casing. This is my center front. I'm making casing on both seams too. To know where the side, where both side meet, both front and back side, I'm going to place my pattern paper to fish it out, just like this. And I'm going to connect it. I'm doing the same thing on the second side. To create casing on the back part too, I'm going to measure 1.5 from this part and connect it straight. I'm doing the same thing on the second side of the back. I'm making all the lines visible. Now I'm going to place my buyers on the lines and cut them out one by one, just like this. I'm done with the cutting of my bias as you can see. So I'm using paint to hold those bias down on the lines. And I'm going to move ahead to my machine now and stitch my bias, all the bias on both sides one by one. I'm done stitching all the bias on both sides one by one as you can see. So I will move ahead by measuring all the bias to know how many inches I'm cutting for the boning. But I'm going to make sure I leave space here, here and here for my same allowance. So I'm cutting out the first boning by measuring it out after I measured it on my bias on the first line of the casing. So this is what I have for the first line. I'm going to insert it just like this. I'm doing the same thing on all the casing that I made for my boning. Till I reach the last casing. Just watch me as I'm doing it so that you will understand. Now I'm done inserting my boning to the casings as you can see. So I'll go ahead and place my lining. Let the right side of the lining face the light right side of the fabric and stitch with half inch on the upper part like this. 
I'm done stitching as you can see. So I'll go ahead and notch with quarter of an inch all through. Just like I'm doing now. After notching, I'm going to turn to the right side. Make sure I trim all the angles to make it lay very well on the right side. And make sure all the angles are held very well and give it good press. I'm done pressing it as you can see, it's very nice and beautiful. Here's the wrong side of it. I folded half inch on the lining and fabric on both edges before ironing it, as you can see, for me to finish it up at the end of the day to make it easier for me. So I'll go ahead now and insert boning on my under bust just like this. I'm using my boning to measure it out before cutting it. I'm cutting it now. I'm going to cut, I'm going to measure the, the second one because I've already cut the second one out and I'm cutting it out. Make sure you deduct about one, one to 1.5 inch before inserting your boning after measuring it. I'm lighting up my candle for me to smoothen the edges of my boning to avoid it from injured your client or yourself. If you, if you have your lighter, you can make use of it in the alternative. So I'll go ahead to my machine now, insert my bony on the underbust and make sure you top stitch it. It's a little bit tricky but you have to do it to make your job accurate and neat. Insert it like this and top stitch on the right side of the fabric. Top stitch like this from here to here. I'm doing the same thing on the second one. I'm done fixing my boning to the underbust as you can see. If you have your bra bone, you can make use of it in the alternative if you don't have your plastic boning. So I'll go ahead and let the right side of the lining face the right side of the fabric like this for me to stitch up my waistline. This is another difficult part of this video but you have to do it to make your job neat and beautiful. I'm stitching with half inch from one head to the other edge. I'm done stitching and I'm going to turn it to the right side. Here is another difficult part. You have to take your time by turning it inside out. I'm taking my time to do that. You have to take your time, please. Now I'm done bringing it out, as you can see it's very nice and beautiful. I'll go ahead and fold my bias tape into two like this for me to stitch it up. I'm going to top stitch on it to create my loop and the rope that I'm using for the lacing at the back. I'm stitching it as long as possible. I'm done stitching it as you can see. So I'll go ahead now and cut my loop out. I'm measuring two two inches for my loops and I'm cutting six inches, I mean six pieces for the loops. After cutting the loops, I'm, I'll go ahead and fix it in on my back part. I'm fixing, fixing one on the top here. I'm going to fix the second one on the down part. And after pinning down the first and the second loops, which is up and down, I'm going to find the middle of this edge now and pin another one at the middle of it, just like this. So I'm going to do the same thing on the second edge. 
move ahead to my machine and top stitch on the fabric just like this I'm done top stitching as you can see the loops is ready now I'll go ahead and lace up my back part for you to see the finishing look of it here is where I'm stopping for today guys if my tutorial has been helpful to you please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel if you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing you can join me on my facebook group details to sewing created by akuride adenike i'm on twitter and instagram at akuride adenike please show some love by liking and following my page on facebook at akuride adenike sewing tutorial till i see you in my next video guys stay safe stay blessed bye bye